Hello my brilliant home buyers and sellers, this is Faryal and welcome back to Living Local with Faryal series where I tour different neighborhoods in the city of Mississauga and its surrounding areas so you really get to find out what type of lifestyle they have to offer to you. And in today's video we are going to explore a town in southern Ontario which was once a small ruler town and now it is a major suburban area of the greater Toronto area and is one of the fastest growing communities in Canada as well. Just alone between 2006 to 2011 it's saw an increase of over 56% of its population. Now the town is known as Milton in Helton region. So let's get right into it. I really got to experience this town myself because over the past summer I decided to stay there for one week with my family and explore the town and this is what I discovered. Number one, the town is absolutely beautiful and it's surrounded by nature which I will talk a little bit more in detail later in this video. I also noticed that Milton has somehow blended the old with the new seamlessly. You will see beautiful historic buildings on the main street in downtown then you will see big beautiful homes with big lots that have so much character in and around the farmlands but then you will also see these new modern homes popping up everywhere condo buildings without taking away the old town charm from Milton now our location Milton is located about 40 kilometers west of downtown Toronto on highway 401 it borders with Mississauga Oakville Burlington Hamilton Guelph and Georgetown and that's what makes Milton such an amazing place to live because you have access to all these amazing cities not too far from you now let's look at the the history of the town. The town of Milton was established around 1820 by English immigrants and it took its name from the renowned poet John Milton. So the town really started seeing more economic boom when they constructed a grist mill alongside a creek leading to the formation of a pond now known as Mill Pond. Milton still retains traces of its 19th century allure in the form of historical mills, barns, picturesque farmlands, you have local markets and very welcoming locally owned shops and eateries. And these elements collectively, when you look at Milton, exclude a very friendly small town charm that continues to embrace and welcome all the visitors to their town. So let's talk about demographics. Based on the 2021 census done by Statistic Canada, when it comes to demographics, we have about over 44% of Europeans, followed by over 28% of South Asian community and over 7% of Middle Eastern community living in Milton. So the town of Milton has 15 distinct neighborhoods and all of these neighborhoods offer very distinct lifestyle. So you'll find neighborhoods from mature tree-lined streets to easy access to the major highways to more family-friendly neighborhoods with great schools. The beauty of this town is that it has something to offer for everyone coming from all walks of life. So you have neighborhoods such as Clark, Beatty, Dempsey are closer to the border with the city of Mississauga are definitely known for offering a more convenient lifestyle in terms of commute. Now these neighborhoods are considered to be the new Milton where majority of homes were built in the 2000s and you have access to best schools as well you're close to movie theaters all the major shopping big box stores and that's what makes it really attractive for young families who wants to come and live in these neighborhoods now when I was in Milton for a week what I also noticed is these neighborhoods are tend to be more busier in terms of traffic and as further away you go from the city of Mississauga border the traffic becomes more calmer in the town of Milton now then we have neighborhoods such as Harrison and Scott which are closer to Niagara Escarpment. I love those neighborhoods. They're absolutely gorgeous with breathtaking nature. I love being in the nature so those are the neighborhoods I will be driven to. Just driving around in and those areas was really really peaceful. However what I really liked about those neighborhoods is that they're also very close to all the amenities you need for a busy life. Then you have the neighborhood of Old Milton where you find yourself looking at these beautiful historic century and wartime homes. I mean they're something to look at and you're walking distance to downtown area where you will find a lot of small boutique stores independently owned restaurants and they bring in all the community together which I really liked it was very charming and you can just truly see and feel the history of Milton when you're walking the streets of downtown Milton now you also will find a renowned uh, farmers market walking distance that happens starting uh, every year from May till the end of October and they are known for their fresh foods 
and organic items as well and vegetables and so much more now let's talk about the lifestyle so milton is i would say one of the only towns that i've seen so far is able to preserve its old small town charm at the same time continuing to grow at a very fast pace living in milton provides you that serenity that calmness and being close to nature while not sacrificing the urban conveniences of life because a lot of people they think that if i'm living in nature and i'm living in milton it means i'll be away from all the conveniences and it'll be hassle but that has changed a lot when i went there in milton and i think it's just been over the years that people have started to change their perspective about milton because before milton was living in the boonies and that is not the case anymore milton has a very close-knit community vibe and it provides a lifestyle where one morning you can wake up and go for a nice hike to kelso conservation area or biking kayaking or skiing whatever you're into or one morning you can wake up and decide to enjoy a nice meal listening to live music in downtown milton or go watch a movie you can also go shopping at a charming mom and pop shop or you can go to those big box stores such as walmart best buy and you can get whatever you need so when you're living in milton you really get to have the best of both worlds and that's what i loved about milton also you have easy access to other beautiful neighboring cities that i was mentioning before you can go to oakville burlington oakville downtown is absolutely gorgeous there you can go there as well and spend the day along the water the only thing that um that i found that in milton you don't have access to of course lake but then you can get that when you go to oakville and burlington now commuting highway 401 is the one that will connect you to milton it has created 18 kilometers of new lanes from mississauga to milton which has made a lot easier for the travelers to commute every single day then you also have the go transit milton line which provides reliable and very frequent service to union station in toronto if that's where you need to go for work and it is also a primary mode of transit from um, to Toronto from Milton when it comes to go train and if you're driving by car to downtown it will take easily up to an hour for you to go there if there is no traffic however if you're commuting to Mississauga or other surrounding cities um, you will find that travel time is not a lot it is definitely below an hour depending where you're going so let's talk about education so education stands as a paramount focus in Milton and I've also seen that all the schools over there are very modern looking and new and the community really takes pride in their outstanding schools and they have highly rated elementary schools and also very well-known secondary institutions as well so families who live in Milton have the opportunity to be part of this exceptional education right in their neighborhood only thing that was lacking in Milton is that when it comes to universities they don't have any however that's about to change because we have Laurier University that's going to open its door next year in 2024 that's the plan um, so that will change as well now I hope you enjoy this episode of living local with for if you do, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you will be the first one when we explore a new city and a new neighborhood. Until next time, have yourself a wonderful day and remember to be kind to yourself and others. This is Freyal signing out.